Hi, Annie. This is uh, Margie. I just want to respond to your post. Um, um, your first sentence talks about what works well is having people within the church who are responsible for reaching out to the elderly and supplying them with things they need. Um, I think that's um, right on target. I was talking to one of my um, colleagues, and they told me at their church that they um, they give all the seniors $25 a month. Uh, this is a mega church, and they can afford it. But they give their, their seniors a check for $25 a month, which I thought was just really good. And during the, um, you talked about COVID and being in isolation. Uh, I'm a Stevens minister, and what we had our group to do is to, um, well, the church did. We broke our church up. We only have 1,500 people. We broke our church up into um, alphabetical order, and we called everybody. We called everybody. And I thought prior to us calling everybody just to check on the elderly and the other members that we were doing a good job, but one of the Stevens ministers reported to me that one lady had said that this was the first time in 30 years that someone, and she'd been a member for 30 years, that someone from the church had called her. And I was just kind of surprised and kind of sad, too, that we had not done a better job of taking care of our seniors because um, they are the backbone of our church. Um, and also, one of the things that we do, too, like I had said in my written post, is that we do have a seniors day, and the little ladies get together with their little hats and all, and they sit together in a group, and then they um, then we have a luncheon for them. Um, I was talking to one of my, another of my friends in their church, they built a senior citizen um, uh, apartment complex for the seniors. Matter of fact, I'm thinking of two churches who did that, who had um, centers built for um, the elderly. Um, I think it was based on their income, and I'm thinking that because they did that, that they will um, they will um, get some kind of tax credit, but whatever it is, that they were, were in fact, looking out for the seniors. Um, let's see. Uh, I see you said, I personally think meeting the needs of the elderly should be a top priority priority for everyone and, on, and not only within the church. Now, I know that um, one church that I talked to, they not only... Um, had a health van coming to their church once a month. They also had, they also invited the community. Um, I was talking to another church and they have broken their church up into age groups. And I think they call the seniors, they, they have a name for each of the age group groups. And they specifically have a minister assigned to the seniors group. I think it's like 65 and, and older. And they, um, they talk to the seniors, they uh, listen to what their needs are, and they try to provide for what they need. And most of the time, seniors just want someone to talk to and someone to listen to them because they do have wisdom and they bring a lot of maturity to the, to the, um, to the conversation. Uh, the baby boomers, I think they said that that's, and that's what I am too, a baby boomer. I think that's the largest group right now because people are living longer because of um, the wonderful health care that we get. Um, but there are some people who do not get the health care and um, like you said, we really need to value and respect our elderly. Thank you for your post. Take care.